and former students of Bethel Baptist High School have escaped from their abductors. This brings to a total of 34 who have regained their freedom, including 28 who were earlier released and two others who also escaped days earlier. In the wake of this, analysts have criticized the government's handling of the situation. Osarege Abomo gives us more insight in this report. In the early hours of July 5th, bandits in their numbers invaded the Bethel Baptist High School, Damishi Kaduna State, and abducted over 100 students. Since then, there have been ransom payments, escapes, and releases of some of these victims. Reacting to the recent development, Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kaduna State Chapter, and security expert, Chidi Omeje, described the situation as sad. They criticized the Kaduna State Government for its attitude towards the kidnapping. Now one of the challenges with Nigeria is that when you start guiding uh, leaders or offer advice, they will say, you want to teach me my job. And so sometimes we don't want to become teachers of people in their job. He has been briefed, he's showing concern. So that's the word he's showing concern. But we've had a lot of concern. We don't want concern anymore. We want action that will stop our children from becoming afraid of going out. The Kaduna State's official response to all of, the, uh, all of these, with all due respect, is very, very irresponsible. I, I use that word because uh, you cannot tell me that uh, you are not going to engage in um, ransom, uh, ransom, ransom payment. Meanwhile, we are not able to provide the adequate security that the, uh, adequate measures that will give security to, to our schools. So, if the school, if the kids are, you know, have been put in a way that they are, that, that it is easy to kidnap them, then you must get the consequence. You must, you must, you should be able to find a way to rescue them. Analysts have also shared that their expectations and disappointments with security agencies, who say they should be able to do more to secure the release of these kidnapped victims. Since kidnapping business started in Kaduna, people have always escaped somehow. Uh, so that shows that these kidnappers are not what we are rating them to be. And I believe that we have capacity in Nigeria that we can stop these people using technology, using modern equipment, using everything within our reach. The excuses we are giving that we are just afraid of casualties have only made more casualties. These are windows, uh, these are opportunities for, for, for the state to move in. They have to find a way to you know, get intel from the, the ones who have escaped, to find a way to, 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 to get them. It is very clear that those guys, if, if the kids are able to, to escape one, one time, second time, third time, it means that um, if, we, if we add more pressure, we can actually you know, surround the entire environment and get those guys, and get those guys uh, you know, rounded up and, and, and probably so far, 83 students still remain in the hands of their abductors and families wait in anticipation of their release. Osaogi Ogbonwa, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.